This is by far the best way to export or backup your Minecraft worlds on mobile. This will work for both Android and iOS and on both application and external. You'll need a file explorer. I'm using CX file explorer in this video. If you're on iOS, you can use file manager docs. The import slash export button on hider. When you click on the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page. Uh, click skip to downloads. Tap this link. And you want to select I'm not a robot. And once that's done, just click get downloads and the link again. Now it's time to go into the file explorer. The first thing you want to do is create a folder. Uh, so you can create it in the downloads or in the main storage. Tap the three lines or the three dots in the corner. Tap new. Okay, so you can name it anything. This is where your Minecraft worlds will go. So uh, once the folder is created, go back and into the downloads and look for the button on hider. So tap on it and then tap Minecraft and look for the worlds that you want to back up or export. So I'm going to tap on edit and go down to the resources and in available. In owned, I'm going to look for the button on hider. So I'm going to tap activate. So from here, just tap on play. You want to pause the game and go into the settings. Scroll down on this side and all the way to the bottom you'll see export template. Now here's the best part, tap on that. Remember that folder we created earlier? Look for the folder and uh, there it is. So tap it and click save. And from here you can just exit the world. Go back into the file explorer here. And you want to go over to the main storage and look for that folder again. Tap it and there we have our world that we just backed up. Now you want to long press on it. Click on rename and add .mc world and then click on OK. This is our world backed up. Whenever you're ready, you can just tap on it and tap Minecraft. Just like that, world finished successfully. So if you make any new changes to your Minecraft world, you want to repeat the same process. From here on out, it's actually very simple. The same folder will always be open, so you don't have to keep looking for it all the time. After exporting your Minecraft world, I highly recommend changing your file location to external. Just in case the add-on doesn't work in the future, you can still access your Minecraft worlds uh, using the other way that I'm about to show you. If you found the video helpful so far, like the video and share it with anyone who you think may find this really helpful. This second way is for external only. Okay, so going to the main storage and you want to look for Android, tap that, then tap data and look for com.mojang. There it is. So tap that, then files, games, com.mojang again. You should see a Minecraft worlds folder. So tap that and you'll actually see all of your worlds from in the game. So what you can do, you can tap on the folders and look at level name.txt and you can see the name of the world. And then from here, what you can do is go back. You can just long press or select the box and you can move them over to a folder. So go all the way back, tap that and then paste it here. And uh, it's going to take a while. As you can see, how big was that world? That, that's taking a while. Now, once you're ready to import these back into the game, uh, what you would do is tap on it, select all of the files, click more and compress them. Long press on the compressed file, click rename and remove the dot zip and add .mcworld. Click on OK and then you can tap it to import it back into Minecraft. I don't want you to end up losing your Minecraft worlds like I did. I lose a lot of my worlds to application. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.